哦，国家复工嘛哦，阿边你系我飞后边都可以期待，别啊，哎呀，我毛都拉边我富后边都几样嘢，佢哋咪吓嘅咪啊，大气，别啊，佢哋啊大气够古，大气未起嘛，别啊，歪呢嘛咪，得发嘅大。我为俺哥妈老给妹妹给米带雕，哎，妈妈俺哥要给阿平个房啊，没没大带。Many Tongans living along coastlines and low-lying areas are affected by coastal inundation and flooding, particularly during storms and cyclones. To help address this challenge. The government of Tonga has prioritized improved early warning systems, preparedness, and planning tools. The government of Tonga recognizes the importance of early warning and early action to help save lives and mitigate the negative impact of these natural assets, and is investing close to 40 million US dollars. In strengthening its multi asset early warning system with the assistance and close cooperation with our development partners. Monitoring ocean temperature, sea level, winds, and tides provides critical information for planning and preparedness. All of this information is available from the Tonga Sea Level Monitoring Station or Tide Gauge. With support from the Australian Government, the Tongan Government and the Pacific Community SPC, a Tide Gauge has been recording sea level and climate information in Tonga since January 1993. In 2018, after 25 years in its busy port location, the 1993 station was no longer in good condition. The wharf had expanded around it, placing the station in way of heavy vessel traffic. Fortunately, under the Climate and Ocean Support Program in the Pacific, or COSPAC project, funding was identified to relocate and install a new state-of-the-art station on Vuna cruise ship wharf. So the Bureau of Meteorology is involved in a fantastic project called COSPAC which involves uh, working with uh, other regional organisations such as SPC and together with SPC we've been, and also Geoscience Australia, we've been um, installing, maintaining tide, gauge, tide gauges in the Pacific countries. This newly installed station is amongst the most technologically advanced in the region it monitors sea level with an acoustic sensor, two radar sensors and a pressure sensor. In addition, it has an inbuilt global navigational satellite system, GNSS, reference station, which allows for precise monitoring of sea level relative to land movement. Now we have the tide gauge and the GNSS. I believe we have more reliable data for us to use especially for, for mariners, for, for, for marine transport, especially marine safety and all the stuff. Also environment, climate change. Now if we, we, we use this data, a more reliable data than, than all our data sets that relate to, to the sea and the ocean, will be more accurate and will be more improved. Information from the station's inbuilt automatic weather station is sent every minute via satellite communications so it can be viewed in real time online and via direct link to the weather office. From here, the responsibility falls to Tonga Meteorological Service to get these critical messages and warnings out to the public. In order to reach the greatest number of citizens, Tonga Met has gone beyond traditional media. Right now, a lot of uh, the information that we provide goes out on the national uh, television, uh, national radio. Uh, we send out, we have an email group that we use. We also have a, a website 
that we post the information. Huh? And we've just recently started uh, posting information on uh, social media, on, on Facebook and uh, Twitter. The data available from the new sea level and geodetic monitoring station is key to many users. Um, it's important for shipping, it's important for tourism, it's important for even kids going for a swim knowing whether it's safe to get into the water. But then you look at emergency management, uh, tsunamis, again really important for early warning systems, but if a tropical cyclone is coming your way and for example you might be in a king type, that's incredibly valuable information for the type of damage, the things you need to prepare for. So really it's anything from, you know, just going out into the water on an every day to, to saving people's lives. The data collected is not only used in Tonga, but by scientists and meteorologists around the region and the globe. The southern hemisphere is fairly data sparse and, um, and, 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 and it's highly important that we have, uh, we have monitoring sites both at the islands uh, in southern hemisphere and, uh, and also that we have these ocean ocean based uh, obs observations and, and, and the more observations we have, uh, the better the accuracy of the forecasts uh, are going to be. So in the last few years alone, we have used the data collected by these stations to support countries to improve their decision making. And a number of examples of those uh, important decisions have been a modeling of tsunami threats here in the world. So this project is not only about collecting data, but it is also about making it accessible, understandable and applicable to support national and regionally based decision making. The demand for data to inform decision making continues to be a priority for the region, from government agencies and industries to community and homeowners. Using the valuable data from the sea level and geodetic monitoring station, Tonga Meteorological Service is leading the way in providing accessible, reliable weather and ocean services to the community, down to the last mile. Thank you.